get more specific. This is what we call an urban legend. The dream for Ohio State to get back to the college football playoff ended with game number 11 and a loss to Michigan State. Entering this season, Urban Meyer knows that his biggest challenge is going to be replacing eight starters from both sides of the ball. But at least a quarterback, no worries. You've got JT Barrett with plenty of experience. Who will he throw to? Good question because there's bodies to replace him in the wide receiver position. Noah Brown and Corey Smith were both played with injury a year ago. You've got them uh, back, so that can't hurt at all. The running game, Ezekiel Elliott, one of those once-in-a-lifetime type running backs, very special, and now on the next level with the Cowboys. So sharing the duties, I think, is going to be Curtis Samuel, and also we're going to see what Mike Weber can do. He redshirted a year ago, but no Brianna done. kicked off the team back on July 18th. Got a couple of linemen with national championship experience from that team that won it all two years ago, the right guard Billy Price, and the potential All-American in the guard in Pat Elfline. That just shows you how damn good Ohio State is, huh? A dozen players drafted in last season's NFL draft. And by the way, three other players are trying to make it on NFL rosters from Ohio State who weren't even picked, period. And this is a team that in the past has been able to prove that they can reload. But this year's going to be a tall order. Got to replace eight starters on the side of the ball as well, returning only one player from each defensive player, including defensive line. They lose Joey Bosa and Odell Fitz Washington. New leader is expected to be a guy that had eight sacks a year ago for the Buckeyes. That's defensive end Taquan Lewis. Middle linebacker could be the best in the country in Raquan McMillan. His name gets called a lot. Had 119 tackles a year ago. And the only defensive back starter returning for the Buckeyes, Gary Ann Conley at the corner. But do expect big things from the free safety in Eric Smith. This stat I find to be just remarkable, the fact that Urban Meyer has never lost a true road game, really. His only four losses in four years in Columbus, two of them have been at home, one, Orange Bowl against Clemson a while back, and the 2013 Big Ten title game against Michigan State in Indianapolis. I know exactly how you guys are feeling. In fact, I can think of only one thing that could lift my spirits right now. Beer. 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 Time now for my six-pack of games to consume. If the Buckeyes plan on being a part of the college football playoff party, they'll again have to be kings of the road because there's plenty of challenges away from Columbus, including a game against my Sooners on September 17th. And don't forget about Michigan State in late November. The Spartans have handed Urban Meyer two of his four losses since joining the Buckeyes. You don't need me to explain Urban Meyer's greatness as a head coach. That speaks for itself. And they recruit better than anybody north of the Mason-Dixon line. However, replacing 16 starters is near impossible for me to ask Ohio State to get back to the college football playoff. 2017 looks more realistic as far as Ohio State being able to do that, especially if Barrett comes back for his senior year at QB.